devastating consequences as new Swedish government scraps environment ministry. Here's a summary of the article. The new commander of Russian forces in Ukraine has described the situation around Kherson in the south of the country as difficult in the face of Ukrainian offensives, adding that residents are to be evacuated. It's a rare acknowledgement of the pressures Russian forces are under as Ukraine's army moves to retake areas that Moscow claimed to have annexed just weeks ago. The situation in the area of the special military operation can be described as tense. Sergei Surovakan, the Russian Air Force general now commanding Russia's invasion forces, told the state-owned Rossiya 24 news channel. On Kherson, Surovakan said, the situation in this area is difficult. The enemy is deliberately striking infrastructure and residential buildings in Kherson. Kherson is a symbolic target for Ukraine's government. Russian forces in Kherson have been driven back by 20 to 30 kilometers in the last few weeks and are at risk of being pinned against the western bank of the 2,200 kilometer long Dnipro River that bisects Ukraine. Vladimir Saldo said this was to allow the Russian army to install large scale defensive constructions in the face of a vast counter offensive by Ukrainian forces. This post received a score of 7,300, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Minister of Climate and the Environment reports to the Minister of Business, Energy and Industry that sends a chilling message. Scary you only get to be green with rich people make money from it. I think what the government will find is what trust has found in the UK. People at big companies tend to be pretty moderate and, in a lot of cases, progressive about the environment and many other issues, and actual big businesses in Sweden might push back if the government goes crazy with changing the environmental rules. For one thing, big companies like IKEA can actually use the existence of those rules to push competitors out. They have a financial incentive to support any environmental rules that stick it to Amazon and Walmart. The same trust that almost made pensions collapse. Holy fuck, we are screwed. Oh yes, putting the environmental protection under a Ministry of Industry is going to work out great. Destroying the natural environment for profit is easy. Fixing it afterwards is ten times harder and more costly. The top brass will profit massively and the regular people will get to pay taxes to fix the issues. Capitalism at work here people. Nothing to see move along. Humankind is exceptional at procrastination. Escapism saves plenty of right-wing candidates from having to look for other employment. Makes me so frustrated that people are so trampled that they escape into all this media nonsense. I'm as guilty of this as anyone, instead of demanding change. On a wary basis level predictability is vastly preferred amig humans over change. Short of starvation humans do, on some deep psychological level, prefer that tomorrow is the same as today. And the older you get the more prevalent is gets. Probably true for all living creatures. You cannot tie environment into business and energy. That's the same conflict of interest that got us into this mess in the first place. The fox guarding the hen house. Oh no Sweden what is you doing? Destroying themselves to own the libs. When will people learn? Right wing governments hashtag do not care about you at all. They care all right. They care about how to exploit you the most and brainwash you effectively so they can have their power trips when at the helm of a nation. Slave plantation. It's a big slave plantation for them. It's a plantation where they grow smaller plantations. It's a global pyramid of downward whipping. As a Swede, I don't think people in this comment section actually have any insight into why the department was scrapped. And honestly I don't blame them, as the article is completely one-sided but the department was completely dysfunctional. In theory, the department should have been responsible for approving or denying any new potential development in Sweden for companies, buildings, etc. So say the department wants to deny a development, even though it meets the environmental goals, what would they do? They would exploit a loophole in basically delaying their decision indefinitely. They have done this for so many decisions that it's absolutely for the best that this department is shut down as it essentially does not do anything but block everything that requires environmental consideration. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.